Welcome back to Crypto 101, your comprehensive guide to learning everything about crypto from start to finish. Today we're diving into the world of DeFi derivatives, where the financial future is being reshaped faster than ever before. Horn, the most universal lending protocol. More on them later. Have you ever wondered how a market valued at over one quadrillion dollars functions? It's all thanks to derivatives, financial instruments that let you bet on the future of assets without actually owning them. But what exactly are DeFi derivatives? You can think of them as smart contracts for betting with leverage in the decentralized finance space. In DeFi, these contracts come in various forms. You've got LP positions like those on Uniswap v3, liquid restaking tokens such as eETH by Ether.Fi, or liquid staking tokens such as RETH by Rocket Pool. And if you're familiar with traditional instruments like futures and options trading, these are also available on-chain in DeFi. Platforms such as GMX, DYDX, and Synthetix Perps are revolutionizing how we trade by offering increasingly liquid markets for perpetual futures trading. Similarly, more specialized platforms like the Real Estate Market Derivatives Trading Protocol by Parcel also continue to evolve within the DeFi space. And before we continue, let's hear a quick word from our sponsor. Are your wallet holdings really working for you? Enter Pawn, the most universal lending protocol where you can own your terms, unlock new liquidity and earn more. Everything from your PFP to an LP position can be used or bundled together as collateral on Pawn. Simply choose your collateral, fix loan terms from the get-go and get funded. And because Pawn is Oracle-less, you can borrow without the fear of sudden liquidation. What's more, you don't have to give up your precious assets to unlock additional liquidity and seize new DeFi opportunities. Interested in lending? Browse loan requests, fund your favorites and earn interest all in a few clicks. If your borrower misses repayment, you get to recuperate the assets or bundle of assets they put up as collateral. But why do derivatives exist? The short answer is that it's all about managing risk. Just like farmers use contracts to hedge against crop failures, investors use derivatives to protect against market volatility. For instance, airlines lock in future fuel prices to shield themselves from sudden spikes. And DeFi derivatives work the same way, letting you hedge price risk and gain exposure to assets without owning them. Take Synthetics for example. It tokenizes commodities, fiat currencies and stocks as synths, allowing you to trade without ever owning the underlying asset. And then there's Wrapped Bitcoin or WBTC, which bridges the gap between Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's like having BTC available within Ethereum's DeFi playground. And as DeFi evolves, there's countless new innovations brought to us by teams such as Pawndow, where you can create a basket of assets with NFTs and tokens, and then borrow against the bundled value. So whether you're into liquid staking, on-chain perps trading, or options, you'll find that DeFi derivatives offer a world of possibilities. On that note, please remember none of this is financial advice and is intended solely for informational purposes. Always do your own research. Thank you for tuning back into Crypto 101. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and as always, stay defined. <laughs>